the human ear is an amazing functional organ it not only helps us in hearing but it also detects change in the movement of our body and helps in maintaining a balance it's fascinating the very thought that the human ear does multiple functions but we all presume that it just helps us in hearing many a times we have taken this gift of hearing as granted but could you imagine when you are cut away from the outside world just because you could not hear those lovely sounds the sounds of nature the musical notes how would we feel let's realize that the human ear has a system of multiple functions performing which we need to understand so that we appreciate that the human ear needs to be taken care of let's begin understanding the structure and the functioning of the human ear the human ear is divided into an external ear you can look here this is your external ear the middle ear and the internal ear the external ear is made up of a flap of skin cartilage which we call the pinna something like you can have a look this is the pinna this pinna leads into a canal the external auditory meters or the external auditory canal you can find here a thin membrane structure which is called as the ear drum now the portion here is the middle ear the middle ear has three bones in it the malleus the incus and the stapes it's the hammer the anvil and the stirrup now the middle ear communicates with the internal ear through a oval window and the important parts of the internal ear the inner ear very visible to you are the semicircular canals three of them and a highly coiled tube the cochlea something like the shell of a snail this is the middle ear have a look this is your ear drum or the tympanic membrane a set of three bones in fact the smallest bones of your body they act as a lever the sound vibrations when they come and strike the ear drum are amplified about 20 to 22 times by these three bones that is the malleus the incus and the stapes before it enters the inner ear or the internal ear you can also find the middle ear is connected to our pharynx through a eustachian tube and this helps in maintaining the air pressure equal inside the ear and outside the three semicircular canals are at right angles to each other and here is the highly coiled tube the cochlea in fact it resembles the shell of a snail and if you take a section of it it will have about 2 and a half turns now from the inner ear goes the auditory nerve to the brain where the sound vibrations impulses are processed 